Okay, with apologies for the technical glitches. I'm going to set my clock up. I'm just going to give you the quick walkthrough again. It's this one. 10 minutes, one minute, three minute, and six minutes. Each of them's got three minutes rest between. So 10, one, three, six. I'm just going to set up here. Try to set up yourself as well. Somewhere in here, I've got the previous version of this, which would be good. There we go. So I'm just going to wait to see a few hands up, uh, thumbs up, so that we know we're ready to go. Adrian, perhaps you can have a look around the room. So yeah, this first piece is at 24. I'm just going to be looking to get the basics right. Adrian will talk us through a few technical points that we've been working on, particularly nice strong finish, hands away, get the body over before the legs come up so that we can just slide up and catch without any extra movement. So, how are we doing? Are we looking good, everybody? Yeah, I think so. All right, yeah. Okay, let's get ready to go. So we'll start in 30 seconds. I don't know whether to have some water or not. Let's enjoy this piece and it's a foundations. Let's get the technical foundation and get a nice strong 24 under our belts. Half the work. Starting in 15 <laughs> seconds. Think about your own personal focus for this piece, what it is you want to get out of it, and be setting myself up for the rest of the piece, getting to the end of it feeling good. Starting in five seconds, three, two, one, go. Nice relaxed start, really fluid, loose. Only at 24. Yeah. Minus 24 now. Right, wrong feet. We're going to stick to the race. Let's try and make the stroke and the recovery as simple as you can. No unnecessary movements. On the recovery, you're just folding up the body. On the drive, you're opening it up. Yeah. Remember to try and keep your arms straight as long as you can during the drive. Yeah. So you're really only pulling with the arms in the last quarter of the drive. Yeah, long. Instead of thinking about the arms, focus on driving the legs and the back will naturally open against the legs. Focus on those big muscles, legs and backs. Put them down into the middle of the piece. One thing the efficiency. Yeah. 
but you're now in the middle third of this piece, keeping efficient, keeping consistent. See if you can keep that split where you want it, right the way through to the end of the piece. Movement on the drive is legs and then backs against the legs. Good. Setting up. Yeah. Well done, people. Halfway. Coming up to the left. halfway mark. And now, again, think about efficiency during this next two or three minutes. No unnecessary movement on the drive or the recovery. Try and make it really horizontal. So you're not lifting the handle or dropping it. Just moving horizontally, backwards and forwards. Yeah. It's better. Good. Good. It helps with that horizontal element at the front end if you try and keep the shoulders really relaxed. Just focus on pushing the seat back away from the machine. Next minute, just think about pushing the seat backwards. Yeah, pushing well, push the boat away. Okay, we've got three minutes to go. This next minute, just think about sitting up. Nice, strong posture with a long spine. Yeah. Chest, up. Chest floats over the legs as you compress the legs. So you're not collapsing onto the knees. And you're sitting tall and strong at the back end of the drive not slumping down. Pick the chest out and squeeze the shoulders back at the back end of the drive. Good. Now we've got just two minutes left. This next minute, think about just sitting still at the end of the drive, but keep the handle moving round the back turn. The handle keeps moving. The chest just sits still for a fraction of a second. Allow the arms to extend away from the body.
bring along. Really big. Coming up to the last minute, rate 24. So you've got 24 leg drives to go. Go. Last half minute, that's 12 strokes. That relaxation over the feet. Focus on pushing the legs. Paddle light, three minutes rest. Well done. Good. Great start. Uh, uh, keep moving the legs. Try and keep moving straight after the piece. You'll thank me later. That's good. Oh, yeah. The great thing about this workout is. That's half the work done. And we've got a really good foundation there. Lovely calls from Adrian. I really like that feeling of just trying to keep it simple. Just by preparing and slide up and drive the legs. I have to keep reminding myself about those loose shoulders. It's a really good call to getting a little bit tired. Tend to want to apply more power with the shoulders but actually you just need to keep it low below the armpits down here in the core a really good call thanks adrian Ooh. a little bit of a stretch and some water how's everyone doing after that okay You're still alive So I always like to have a little think, what, what did I do well there? What do I want to focus on in the next piece? I was quite pleased with that as a foundation in the technique, right? So in the next piece, I just want to really think about very dynamic. We're going up from 24 to 30. So I'm going to keep the same simplicity, but just moving it dynamically. I'm not going to be too worried about the split. I'm not going to try and rip the flywheel off the erg on this one. It's more about getting that looseness so that I can take it into the three minute and the six minute piece. So that's what I'm going to be thinking of. But think about your own goal for this. We've got about 50 seconds until we start. Great to see everybody on here tonight. Really helps to have you along with us, whether you're watching live or you're on a recording. We're all live with you all the time. So this is the one where we just let the horses canter through the fields. Half a minute to go. Think of this and like we three got... tens. And then we've got three minutes rest, so we can really enjoy this. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Here we go. Nice and loose, quick, dynamic. Five, four, three, two, one, go. One minute at 30. Try and keep it long. Full compression. I think about being dynamic at both ends of the stroke. Dynamic off the feet, springing back, and keeping the handle moving around the back end as well. That's halfway. Dynamic. Thank you. 
Last 10 strokes. Leg drive. Push the legs down. Keep those arms straight as long as you can. Push the legs. Good. Paddle light. And again, keep the legs moving. Oh. No work, just keep the legs moving. Now I'm going to try and keep that dynamic feeling for the next piece of three minutes at 28. So the trick to try to feel I'm focusing on the speed of movement, but a little bit more time to breathe between strokes. Again, just think about your own, how did you do on that piece versus what you were aiming for? What do you want to take into the next piece? So I'm going to treat the next piece. We did three tens in that one. I'm going to do three pieces back to back, getting off and get into the rhythm, efficient through the middle of the minute, and then sort of pushing on the legs for the third minute. Adrian will help us to get that focus. Well done, everybody. So for me, this is about keeping it dynamic. And as I get inevitably a bit fatigued, really trying to keep that mental focus. The same technical points as in the first 10 minute piece, simple repairing off the, off the finish, just simply sliding up, loose shoulders, stride the legs. So think about your own goals for this next piece now. Hmm. One more minute's rest. So good if you're a uh, water row, so good to be on the water over the Easter weekend. Had a mini training camp, got some raw hands as a result of it. I really enjoy being on the water. It's fantastic conditions. So if you got on the water as well, maybe you can feel it. I sometimes feel it when I get on the erg. I still feel that sensation of the boat running. Something coming up to 30 seconds to go. 30 seconds now. So this is at 28. So you want to keep the dynamism of the 30, but just a bit more time to recover between each stroke. Work, rest, work, rest. 15 seconds. Right, it's really switched on now. Three one minute pieces back to back. Okay, get ready. Five seconds, three minutes at 28. Starting in three, two, one, go. Nice dynamic start. Commitment. Good. Now settle to 28 with full length. This first minute, think about rhythm and efficiency. Relax. Shoulders relaxed over the feet. Just pushing the legs. Focus on that leg drive in the first quarter of the stroke. Just the legs. Everything else relaxed and connecting the legs to the handle. Coming up towards the one minute mark already. This next minute, just keep it exactly where it is. Efficiency and consistency through this next 28 strokes. Loose shoulders, really simple. Simple movements. Let's focus on that leg drive. The back will open by itself. Try to delay pulling with the arms. Yeah. 
Here we go. Nice and smooth, one piece. Focus now. Get ready for the final minute. 28 strokes starting now. 28 strokes. Focus on the leg drive. Now you should be starting the last 20. Simple, solid, and loose. Heads up. Well inside the last half minute. Stay relaxed, keep that consistency. Last 10 seconds. Down. Again, just keep the legs moving gently. Well done. Oh. 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 Good job. Well done, everybody. I was pleased with that. Hope you were too. Starting to feel quite challenged at the last minute 20 of that one for me. Really helped me to think about focus and just tune into Adrian. Whew. So I don't know if you felt Thinking about being dynamic was really helpful for me there. Not so much thinking about pulling or pushing the legs, but more just about the speed and the efficiency really helped me. Oh, well done folks. Really good, last piece to come. Six minutes at 26. Same trick again for me. Go off keeping it nice and dynamic. Try to keep that flywheel spinning, speed of movement with the rate giving us a bit more time to breathe as well. Let's divide it into three again, Adrian. That's really helpful. Yep. Make sure we keep that mental focus as the body's screaming at us. One thing I try and work on is when again to that stage, just try to detach the body that's yelling, oh, this is too much, I'm not sure I can make it from the mind that's saying, no, no, I'm going to keep rowing technically well, focus on the split, focus on the rate, tune into Adrian, make the body do what it needs to do for you. Body works for your mind, not the other way around. One more minute's rest. Ooh. Yeah, so I really want to focus on putting it all together now. I'm going to try and think about the technical stuff from the first 10 minute piece, that simple, Back end, swing, prepare, and then just let the legs come and push. Try and do that as simple as possible. Loose shoulders, like Adrian's been saying. And then keep it dynamic. Try to get efficient through the middle of the piece. Starting in just under 30 seconds. You may have noticed my clock's a bit different from Adrian's because I'm taller. Time's moving at a slightly different speed for me. Um, so don't worry, you go with Adrian if you haven't got a clock of your own. 15 seconds. Six minutes at 26, starting in 10 seconds. Really good piece now, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Oh. Commitment on every drive, get that split where you want it. That being dynamic. Bouncing off that footboard, springing backwards, pushing the legs down. Good. Now feel that tiny microsecond of pause at the back end where you hold the body still, but you keep the handle moving round the back end and away from the body. 
body is still while the arms are extending beyond the knees. That extension is going to bring the body back onto the front of the seat. That's your focus during this second minute. Arms away, body swinging forward. So getting the body angle ready for the next drive before you arrive at the front end of the recovery. Good. Relax the arms as much as you can. No tension in the arms on the recovery. And we're keeping the arms straight as long as you can on the drive. Good, well done. Okay, we're coming into the second third, the middle third of the piece. Let's keep it horizontal and consistent and simple. Here we go. Handle horizontal through the drive and the recovery. Good, Cinder. Yeah, Chris, good. See if you can get a little bit more leg compression, Janet, if you can. Also, Mark, a little bit more leg compression, vertical shins. Let the seat come a little bit nearer to the feet. Good, now we're halfway. We've got a thousand meters to go. Three minutes. So we're now in that third quarter of the piece where you've got to really press on. Commitment. Mental toughness. This minute and a half. Keep that split where you want it. Leg drive. Now we're going to think about pushing the heels down at the front end, making the connection from the handle to the footboard. Heels down. This minute. Go. Keep the shoulders relaxed making the connection below the armpits, just using the arms to connect the handle to the body, the spine and the legs. Minute and a half go. to go, last 500 meters. Stay on 26, but we're now gonna start really pressing with the legs. Ready? Go. Legs. <coughs> Yep, creating a really good foundation for this last minute. Here we go, one minute at 26. Now I want you to try to feel for suspension between the handle and the feet. So you're standing on that footboard, ready? Go, stand on the footboard. Last 30 seconds, 13 strokes. Finish long and powerful. Heads up, strong posture. 
Yeah, take it home now. Leg drive. Again, leg drive. Down. Well done, guys. Oh, well done. Nice. Those legs Excellent. moving. It's going up and down the start for about 30 seconds. Oh. Really good. Oh. 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 Thank you, Adrian. Excellent stuff. Well done, everyone. You could almost feel the focus coming through all the screens there, lifting each other. Really good stuff. Excellent workout. Oh, really love that. It's got everything, hasn't it? Oh, it's got your foundational winter training in the first piece. Then we're up into racing away. And you got to hang on to it with a bit of lactate in the legs. Really good stuff. Thank you for joining us. Whew. So, Adrian, I can see you having a look around the crew there. What were you seeing? Uh, a couple of people maybe bending the arms a little too early. Um, a little bit too much vertical movement of the handle through the recovery. Want to try and make it a lot flatter, but generally huge commitment from everybody. Really impressive. Well done. Just thinking about, I heard Adrian saying that. That's something I've been working on as well. Just thinking about that, um, making sure that you've got the body over. Sometimes I find it's easier to think about getting my chest over. So if you sit at the backstop and push your chest forward, you can see the feel the back of your seat fall shooting backwards a bit. And that's when I know that my weight's gone forward. And then I can think about sliding. And I'm trying to get my length a bit more through the shins being vertical, not so much through that, because that's going to be a weak position. Also, if you're on the water, you're going to be missing it. I'm trying to have the chest up over the knees. When Adrian says that, that's what we're talking about here. That helps you keep the arms low and loosen the arms are just a linkage there. So if that was one of the things you were feeling Adrian's picking up on, don't worry, he picks us all up on it. Well, that's the way to think about it. A bit more compression in the legs, a bit more sitting up with the chest up, helps you get through that. 